I am going to show you an unreal video of sweaty Donald Trump losing it in a free speech crushing video. We've said before, where's the policy? The Republicans have abandoned policy. Well, in this video posted to Truth Social, Troth Central and Rumble. Troth Central. Yeah. Donald Trump is announcing what sounds like policy if indeed he were to again become president of the United States. And it is chilling. Look at this. If we don't have free speech, then we just don't have a free country. It's mm. as simple as that. If this most fundamental right is allowed to perish, then the rest of our rights and liberties will topple just like dominoes one by one. They'll go down. That's why today I'm announcing my plan to shatter the left wing censorship regime uh -oh. and to reclaim the right to free speech for all Americans. And reclaim is a very important word in this case because they've taken it away. Who? In recent weeks, bombshell reports have confirmed that a sinister group of deep state bureaucrats, Silicon Valley tyrants, left wing activists and depraved corporate news media have been conspiring to manipulate and silence the American people. Understand that that is not an accurate representation of the Twitter files. We have done numerous deep dives now into the Twitter files. No crimes were committed. Twitter's own terms of service were not violated. And Trump's uh, White House had the same access to individuals at Twitter than did the Biden campaign. They have collaborated to suppress vital information on everything from elections to public health. The censorship cartel must be dismantled and destroyed, and it must happen immediately. And here is my plan. Here we go. First, within hours of my inauguration, I will sign an executive order banning any federal department or agency from colluding with any organization, business or person to censor, limit, categorize or impede the lawful speech of American citizens. Now, remember, what's funny about that is it was the Biden campaign who would ask Twitter to remove pictures of Hunter Biden nude. Trump is talking about government actors. His administration was the one empowered to do that in the time described by the Twitter files. Trump is really talking about himself here. It's stunning. I will then ban federal money from being used to label domestic speech as mis or disinformation. And I will begin the process of identifying and firing every federal bureaucrat who has engaged in domestic censorship directly or indirectly, whether they are the Department of Homeland Security. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that cut. This is clearly based on how much Trump is sweating and slurring the type of video he needed 100 takes to get completed. The Department of Health, Human Services, the FBI, the DOJ, no matter who they are. Second, I will order the Department <laughs> of Justice. The, the, these cuts are just unbelievable. Just to investigate all parties involved in the new online censorship regime, which is absolutely destructive and terrible and to aggressively prosecute any and all crimes identified. These include possible violations of federal civil rights law, campaign finance laws, federal election law. Now, I just again to try to in inject some reality here as an example, they have these the MAGA people have been trying to make the case that when Twitter acted on removing nude images of Hunter Biden, which are illegal in most states and violate Twitter's terms of service, that that helped the Biden campaign. Therefore, they argue it has monetary value. It was not disclosed as being of monetary value as a campaign contribution. Thus, it was a crime. No serious legal expert is buying even a crumb of that insane hypothesis. Securities law and antitrust laws, the Hatch Act, and a host of other potential criminal, civil, regulatory, and constitutional offenses. <laughs> to assist in these efforts, I am urging House Republicans 
to immediately send preservation letters. And we have to do this right now to the Biden administration, the yeah. Biden campaign, and every Silicon Valley tech giant, ordering them not to destroy evidence of censorship. <laughs> Third, upon my inauguration as president, I will ask Congress to send a bill to my desk revising Section 230 yeah. to get big online platforms out of censorship business. From now on, digital platforms should only qualify for immunity protection under Section 230 if they meet high standards of neutrality, transparency, fairness, and non-discrimination. This is bonkers. I mean, this is just unreal. The, the, it, it's Trump not understanding anything, claiming he's going to do things he can't do and won't do, and hopefully will not even get the opportunity to do. We should require these platforms to increase their efforts to take down unlawful content such as child exploitation, and promoting terrorism while dramatically curtailing their power to arbitrarily restrict lawful speech. Fourth, we need to break up the entire toxic censorship industry that has arisen under the false guise of tackling so-called miss. This, the, the sad thing about this is that this is such meaningless drivel that his followers think is just God's gift to statements by candidates. And disinformation. The federal government should immediately stop funding all nonprofits and academic <laughs> programs. All right, you get the picture. This is extremely free speech crushing. He wants to tell social media platforms what they have to publish. It's not sounding very much small government, is it? If Trump were to get another term, I assure you he would try to do these things. He would probably fail. But it's better not to even give them that opportunity. Absolutely deranged stuff. Unreal. One of our sponsors today is Blue Chew, a unique online service delivering the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. And they're giving my audience an entire month's supply for free. So if you think you could benefit from an extra boost of confidence, when it's time, all you have to do is take a short quiz on their website. A licensed doctor approves your prescription. The medication comes straight to your home within days in a discreet package. No driving around to the doctor's office or the pharmacy. No waiting around. No awkward conversations with your doctor. All of Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA. The entire process is just a few clicks. Go to bluechew.com. The link is underneath this video. They'll give you an entire month's supply for free when you use the promo code PACMAN. All you have to do is pay $5 shipping.